everybody. I'm here with Florida Trailblazer. It's been a long time since we've hung out. How you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, man. So uh, he's taking me out to some uh, Indian mounds today. Uh, would you say there's some old cabins out here too? Some old historical cabins and ranch history, some Native American Indian history out here along this beautiful river area. Yeah, I'm excited. And it's great to be back out here exploring with you. It's been quite some time, like you were saying, so looking forward to getting into the woods to see yeah. what we can uncover today. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm <laughs> excited. I'm really excited. This is uh, this is actually a really neat place. A lot of old growth back here. Some big old champion oak trees and massive cypress trees. Being out here is like taking a trip back into ancient Florida. Yeah. That's what I feel like when I come out here. Oops. So yeah, I'm excited to see what we get into. All right, man, lead the way, buddy. So we've been checking out this Indian mound. It's really cool. Got tons of layers and layers and layers of these little snail shells. You can probably see some behind me. Uh, freshwater mussels. and Really, it takes thousands of years for a, a mound like this to get built up. So and when you're looking at the bottom and the base of this mound, I mean, that's thousands of years ago when they first decided to start making a mound here and then up to the very, very top. And then, the, you know, whatever happened throughout history didn't, you know, make them abandon the spot, which a lot of people already know about those kind of things, but we won't go into that. Um, this mound is really impressive. Lots of pottery shards laying all about. Lots yeah. of shells. Yeah, lots of shells. We're, we're sitting on some shells right now, basically. Yeah. But imagine too how much larger this mound once was. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's pretty large now. Yeah. Modern times. Yeah, it's it's quite tall. It's right here on the banks of the river, a perfect spot. It would have been a good hunting spot for the natives too. You can see that uh, how this river is bending right here. So and during the high water season, the water is going to wash away this side of the mound, and that's why this is so sheer right here. And then when it bends again down the way, the sand and, um, you know, sediment starts building up on the inside curve. So this just is just getting washed away over the years and years and years. Yeah, a lot of these mounds uh, are prone to erosion because of what you just mentioned, mm -hmm. the water the levels. I mean, certain times of the year where we're sitting, the water levels will be maybe up to our heads here. Yeah, and uh, it'll touch almost to the top. Yeah. Especially during hurricanes. For sure. Yeah, hurricanes are brutal on this these areas though. You can see the high water marks on all the trees out there. As we get further into the wilderness here, you'll see a lot more of these water marks on the cypress trees. And you'll mm -hmm. see how high the water levels get out here. And we're right by the floodplain of the Withacoochee River here. It's beautiful. And when you're out here in this time of year, you wouldn't think how, you don't think how flooded it may get. Right. But when you come out here in the rainy season or when it's flooded, it gets really wet. Yeah. It's you can't like, imagine it. <laughs> yeah, it's impassable. You have to have a boat or a kayak or something. Yeah. But it's great to be out here right now. It's a beautiful day. A lot to explore. You want to keep going then? Yeah, let's uh, head further into the yeah. wilderness here. There's a couple features you wanted to show me today? Yeah. All right. All kinds of out. amazing stuff out here. Cool. Lead the way, man. Starting to get warm. Yeah, it's starting to warm up out here. It was cooler when we first started. Yeah. Start stripping stuff off. You gonna uh, take off your shirt? Oh yeah, for the <laughs> ladies. <laughs> hey, at least it's not uh, like summertime heat out here. Humidity, yeah. steaming. It's a perfect time of year. Cypress is pretty wild. It's got a gum tree growing out from the other side of it. These are two different species of tree growing together. That's pretty wild. The, the big root ball here of the cypress, and all the way at the top, you can tell that that's a different tree completely. Now that's wild. That's why I like coming out here and discovering little things like that. Wait up, bro. This is the cabin, huh, dude? This is this 
old cabin's been out here since the early 1900s, right along the river. And it's quite amazing piece of history still standing here. You can see it's made of this cypress wood. Mm -hmm. So it's been able to endure the test of time out here. Some of it's starting to collapse and fall into disrepair. But I mean, a good, that's an understatement. Yeah, but a good, <laughs> a good part of the structure is still standing yeah. and it's great to be able to still see it today after all these yeah. years. Let's go around and check out the other side of it. Yeah, sounds good. And this cabin's cool, man. Yeah, let's take a look in here. This is amazing. Watch your step, my man. Dark in here. As you can see, not much is left in here. It's empty. There's a couple bed frames. Some of the floorboards remain here. Yeah, there's uh, some of the floorboards in the corner. There's still some screen on that one. Yeah, there's a window there. Here, check this out. It's pottery shard. It's interesting. This cabin was built on top of a mound, it appears, and you can see some of the shells and, as you point out, a pottery fragment here in the soil. Amazing. Absolutely. That's so cool. Check this out, another Indian mound here, and this is a large one. Man, this thing's huge. Yeah, you can see this it. It's probably one of the biggest ones we've ever been to. Yeah, I agree, it's it's one of the larger ones I've, I've visited throughout the years, and mm -hmm. I always enjoy coming out and seeing this. And, Man, it's a monster. And you it, say it goes way back here like it, that? It goes for a ways back there, mm -hmm. and this is just the beginning of this part. We'll walk around, we'll get a better perspective of the, how big this thing is, yeah, and just sure. walk around. It's amazing though. Let's check it out. See this, see this oak right here growing out of the mound. It's massive. Yeah, that's a growing horizontally. Look at that. Yeah. It must have fallen over at one time and just, just kept on growing. You can see the mound formation here. We're seeing shards and everything. And, uh, you know, possible tools we just leave them in place but, uh, <laughs> yeah look at this, this is spectacular yeah look at this thing ancient yep this you can see in here this tree had fallen over and it exposed some of the more petrified uh, freshwater mussels some of the snail shells in here if you look carefully you can actually find shards in there as well there's like a nice big piece of shell right there so I mean, it just, the, the amount of history that these mounds offer is staggering. I mean, it just, they go back thousands of years. And it just, it always amazes me that things like this stand the test of time more so than anything else. This looks like a wolf snail shell. Check this out. Right there. I didn't know you could eat those guys. <laughs> Oh, thorns. Oh, that's all in my chest. <laughs> Look. If you don't come back from one of these trips without a bunch of scratches and bruises and mud and dirt and tick bites and mosquito bites, then you didn't go out. I'm gonna get down here to get across. I kind of wanted to check this out anyway. Ugh. <laughs> that was fun. 
Look at this old tree. one of them champion oaks huge make your way through this way so our intrepid leader florida trailblazers leading us to an old ranch house was it the ranch house you said that's uh, a little ranch site. Part of there was a house out here, but it's remnants from that area. There's remnants of an old ranch site. Okay, well that's cool. Um, there's an apparently there's like an old building out there, and and uh, it's the last part of the day. So we're gonna try to make our way out there before dark. Made it to this site, you see a little structure there. It looks like part of a doghouse or a chicken coop or something. Yeah. Look at this. I say doghouse. Got the ring there. The beach is pretty big. Yeah. Well, it's got a false wall back there. Okay. Yeah. See? Two openings, false wall. Yeah, that's where I'm gonna camp next, dude. <laughs> Good camping area right here. <laughs> Sleep nicely in here. Over here is another structure. You can see it right there. Oh, Very man. large, too. Look at it. Yeah. There's something here. Check that out. Let's go check this out. Or the old ranch out here at one time. Yeah, this is cool, man. Yeah, take a look at this. This is serious. The only problem is is that they're really dangerous to wander around inside. You gotta be really careful. You never know when it's gonna decide to collapse. tracks in here. Raccoon, uh, rabbit. I thought I saw some snake tracks back there, but I'm not sure. You never know. Look 
So you reckon maybe this was like the storage, right? Where we are just that I think was maybe a storage area for the ranch. Because mm -hmm. further on the way is the old cattle pens. Right. Where they had some of the livestock. You think? Do you think? Uh, because I mean, somebody could have lived in that cabin earlier today, but. Um, well, that cabin that we were visiting earlier uh, predates this area. Okay. You know, so it seems this, like it. Yeah, that was older. And then eventually, after that cabin was used, I, I believe the area was turned into a ranch down in this area. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think the ranch house is? Or do they live off property? No, I believe they lived out here as a ranch house. Okay. I think it's um, torn down. You know, where we passed by that foundation and stuff, I think it was yeah. up in that area. Oh, okay. Well, that would make, you, sense that sense. Wrought iron, that wrought iron so yeah, it makes sense with that rod iron surrounding. Yeah, it makes sense too because that area is not too far from where we're at right here. Mm -hmm. And it kind of connects that whole area as a big ranch in the section. Yeah, so it's another interesting part of the history here. Yeah, a pretty spectacular swamp and, and over here wilderness here. area. I mean, it, you imagine living out here, man. Oh, you yeah. Imagine living out here. This is just... You can get in, do so much stuff, just enjoying yourself and simple life. I just uh, <laughs> wonder that the people who lived here years ago had appreciated it like we appreciate it today. You know? Yeah, that's a good point. I thought about that before. You know, I think we appreciate it more today because a lot of these places we aren't around as much today. Right. Back then, it was more prevalent to have land and country and yeah, woods all around you. So maybe they, people took it for granted. Yeah, I think I think that's I think that's true. That's and very today true. we we appreciate these places so much more because it's it's rare to find places mm -hmm. like this sometimes. Well, at least the, I definitely do. Yeah, I appreciate. <laughs> it. Yeah, well, I like I guess, to think that that people appreciated it back then. You know, yeah. I guess that's it. about it, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's getting dark and the sun is setting. Yeah, sun is setting. Florida Trailblazer. Ah, see, see your shirt. <laughs> Jungle thanks, Jay. <laughs> thanks for asking me uh, to come along today. I appreciate it. I appreciate you coming out, taking the time to come out into the woods over here. And hope you enjoyed all the history and nature in this area of Florida. Looking I forward did. to more adventures with you, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for asking. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll do it again definitely real soon. And like always, thank you for watching and take care.